Hi, my name's Richard, 2E0 Sierra X-Ray X-Ray from Martin Lynch, and today we're going to try something different. We're going to use uh, wire antenna, very compromised. We've come out to the park here near the shop. We're just going to put it up, see what happens, see if we can make a contact. Let's give it a go. Right, there we go. This, will, this looks all right. We'll get the uh, wire out here. So let me show you what I've got in the bag today. Let's have a look. So in the bag today, we've got a 49 to 1 onion, 10 meters of wire that I've just cut, a bit of coax, and of course we have a radio. Today we're going to use the Zygu X6100. So there we go, we've got it all out of the bag. Let me just quickly explain what we've got here, what we've brought out today. So we've got some RG58 comes in 10 meters pre-made PL259s at each end. We've got the very popular Zygu X6100, very, very good QRP radio, inbuilt tuner, runs HF, absolutely superb. We've got an adapter to go from the PL259 connector to the radio with the BNC, and also we've got the extremely popular 49 to 1 Anun with just 10 meters of wire that I cut literally 10 minutes ago. And also we've got the handbag. Okay, right, so let's take the wire to where we're gonna set it up. All I'm gonna do is just simply place the end of the wire on a branch. Let's find one here, there we are. and we'll string it out as best we can. Remember, we're doing this very quickly. It's gonna be a bit of a compromise, but let's see if we can get any signals. That's about as far as the wire go. This is gonna be very compromised. We've got the unknown on the floor. About a third of the wire's on the floor as well. Let's get some coax and attach that. We go quickly pop that in there do it up nice and snug there we go and we'll attach this to the radio and let's see if we can get any signals right so we've got it all set up now we're on the 20 meter band hopefully we shall make a contact, so let's give it a go. Two Echo Zero Sierra X-Ray X-Ray QSL. Roger, two Echo Zero Sierra X-Ray X-Ray. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for staying. Can I give you 5757 with me? And Yannis uh, is the name. Go ahead. Thank you very much, Yannis, for the signal report. Your very fine signal, 59 plus plus, with excellent modulation. I'm sure you're very busy. I'll let you get on. Thank you very much. And 73s. All right, thanks a lot for the contact, Rich, and uh, I'm appreciated for, uh, for the nice QSO today on 20 meters. 73 to England, best wishes, and uh, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, 73s. Thank you. Sure, fly one, David. X-ray, staying in bar. There we go. We've made a contact with Yanez in Slovenia. Okay, so there we go. We've had a quick contact with uh, Yanez in Slovenia. That's worked quite well. We've been using the Zygu X6100 running 4 watts of power and uh, a bit of coax, the 49 to 1 Anun. As you can see, it's very compromised. The antenna wire, I've got 10 meters and it's running along the floor for at least the first three meters. And then we have it rising up into this small tree up to about no more than two meters high up here that's it compromised antenna compromised location we still made over a thousand mile contact if you're interested in this or you want to talk about the antennas all the radios please give us a call at mls and sons thank you so thank you for that richard got a lot of effort put into that. Did, did you enjoy that that's what i thought i was going to get run over then did you enjoy that video? We thought we'd try those. If you like that
that sort of presentation, then let us know because I know Richard enjoyed it and we do. It's always interesting seeing some of the products actually being used in the field rather than just standing talking about it at, um, in the store, as beautiful as our store is here in Staines. Um, right, let's go in, because it's actually a bit nippy. Um, I'm actually looking forward to uh, the 18th for you. It's only uh, a week away now by the time you watch this video. Um, I'm sure you've seen the adverts in Ragcom and PW, and indeed on the Something for the Weekend mail outs. Um, 18th Saturday, next Saturday is the big day uh, where this whole place will be turned into a cavernous mountain of stuff. So if you haven't seen the adverts, um, basically we're opening the store up and all the kit that gets sent to us by a truckload as trade-ins, we pick all the good bits out that are worth retailing, i.e. they're new enough or they're still serviceable and sell them. However, there's an awful lot of kit that isn't, uh, where it's too old or components may be a little bit more difficult to get hold of, or it's literally simply just not worth repairing. Usually we trade all that lot out. This time we've said, no, come on, let's offer this to um, our customers who support us every day of the year, every year, and actually allow you to purchase it. We're so selling it as sold as seen as faulty. Most of it we haven't even tested because it doesn't even warrant us testing it. So you're purchasing it at a very, very much reduced price. You can have a look at it in the store. Make sure, yeah, I'm going to take a chance on that. Just like you do in a junk sale. You buy it and that's it. There's no bringing it back on Monday or Tuesday or can we order it, mail order, or my friend's on the phone and wants to buy it. You have to come in store. Um, so I realise uh, it's a little bit of an effort to have a journey to Lynch's or any other ham store in the country, but I promise you this will be worthwhile. So uh, you'll be quite astounded at the prices you can buy some of this kit for. Just come along and find out for yourself. So that's um, discount day by Tony with faulty finds as we're calling it. Um, there's everything in the stores marked down as well. So definitely get yourself along. Next Saturday, doors open at 8.30. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention very briefly um, is Trustpilot. Uh, we've been using Trustpilot now for a year or so, I guess. Um, it's a, a, um, a system where you can vote on how you were uh, uh, received and looked after when you've come into my store or indeed used in uh, mail order to order your new toy. Um, if you just search Trustpilot on Google and then put in ham radio, guess who comes up? We do. Uh, and leave some comments there on, on uh, your experiences with good old Martin Lynch and Sons. Now in its 33rd year. Talking of old things, had a chat with Jeff Stanton uh, earlier today. Hello Jeff if you're watching. Haven't spoken to Jeff for quite a few years and he's still going strong and he does say hello. So whilst um, it's the other side of uh, the old Walton Stanton, Jeff uh, was, um, we worked together for many, many years and he even appeared at um, my last wedding, uh, God knows how many years ago, and indeed um, on quite a few open days in the stores when we had stores in Ealing. Not a lot else to report, that's it. Please try and pop in uh, next Saturday. We're very much looking forward to you, Tony, and the Lynchy gang will be here to look after you. Uh, and until then, see you then. Goodbye.